यहाँ से आके ट्रोली पे रहना धीरे
this.
my esteemed brother, Justice Guru Mishra, एसोसिएशन 
माननीय न्यायमूर्ति श्री इस न्याय कक्ष में उपस्थित वरिष्ठ अधिवक्ता तथा समस्त अधिवक्ता मित्र एवं रजिस्ट्री के सदस्य आज उन लोगों के लिए अत्यंत प्रसन्नता का अवसर है कि हमारे बीच से माननीय न्यायमूर्ति मनोज मिश्र जी माननीय सर्वोच्च न्यायालय के न्यायमूर्ति के पद पर आसीन होने जा रहे हैं माननीय न्यायमूर्ति मनोज मिश्र जी का जन्म दो जून उन्नीस को हुआ था वर्ष उन्नीस में इलाहाबाद विश्वविद्यालय से आपने विदेश नाटक की उपाधि प्राप्त करके अधिवक्ता के रूप में कार्य करना शुरू किया आप सिविल रेवेन्यू एवं ट्रिब्यूनल मामलों में कार्य प्राप्त अधिवक्ता रहे परंतु संवैधानिक मामलों में आप विशेषज्ञ हैं नवंबर 2011 में आप इलाहाबाद उच्च न्यायालय के न्यायमूर्ति के पद पर आसीन हुई तब से आज तक आपने अपने निर्णय द्वारा जो ख्याति अर्जित की है वह अपने आप में एक बहुत बड़ी उपलब्धि है मैं यह मानता हूँ कि न्यायाधीश अपने निर्णय से ही जाना जाता है आप इसके प्रत्यक्ष प्रमाण हैं आपने अपने निर्णय से यह साबित कर दिया है कि इलाहाबाद फिर इलाहाबाद बार कितना समृद्ध है यही कारण कि आज आप सर्वोच्च न्यायालय के न्यायाधीश के पद पर जा रहे हैं यद्यपि हम लोग आपका प्रत्यक्ष रूप से लाभ नहीं कर पाएंगे परंतु हमें पूर्ण विश्वास है कि आप अपने निर्णयों द्वारा हम लोगों का एक ही नहीं अभी जो भारतवर्ष के आम नागरिकों को भी न्याय दिला न्याय सिद्धांत न्याय के सिद्धांतों की समीक्षा करेंगे विगत लगभग पांच वर्षों से मुझे भी कई बार आपके समक्ष उपस्थित होने का अवसर मिला मैंने आपके आपको सदैव अत्यंत मनिवाषी तथा न्याय के सिद्धांत को पूरी तरह समर्पित एवं आग्रह पाया मैंने कभी भी आपको किसी अधिवक्ता के प्रति रोध करते हुए नहीं देखा यह आपके विलक्षण स्वभाव को प्रदर्शित करता है जो कि सामान्यतः न्यायाधीश में अपेक्षित है मैं अपनी ओर से भारत सरकार की ओर से तथा भारत सरकार के समस्त अधिवक्ता बंधुओं की ओर से इस अवसर पर आपको तो हार्दिक शुभकामनाएं देता हूँ तथा ईश्वर से प्रार्थना करता हूँ कि आप यश वर्जी करते हैं धन्यवाद एसोसिएशन senior advocates of the court other members of the bar officers of all the registry and all the ladies and gentlemen present here it is my very proud privilege as an advocate general today to felicitate honorable mr sismano nisha on his lordship's well deserved admission to the Mr. Mishra hails from a illustrious family of legal professionals. Mr. Mishra's grandfather laid as a Mishra, and father laid Pien Mishra by his limited senior advocates, who earned a distinguished reputation for their qualities of head and heart. I have fond memories of my early days interaction with ladies. Mr. Mishra Ji, who had a strong affinity for young members of the bar, I was privileged to enjoy his kind of action. He would fondly tell us about the rich traditions of our court. Mr. Mishra's father, late Mr. Mishra, was a simple man who maintained highest integrity and dedication. Towards the legal profession and commanded great respect. It is from such noble family and respectable, respected family of legal professionals that Justice Mishra hails. Having received his initial training in the field of law from men of high traditions and values, Justice Mishra earned a reputation of a sincere and bright young lawyer in his early days. Who had imbibed the qualities of an upright lawyer who did well in all fields of law, his sober and courteous temperament, 
helped him in settling his feet early in the profession. Justice Mishra, in his Lord's Day, mostly confided himself to this work, focused upon it, and was endowed with essential qualities of a distinguished lawyer. His merit was recognized very early. Very few people know it. When he was offered judgeship at the young age of 39, peers which he politely declined then. However, he accepted the call of the nation and gave up a lucrative practice at the bar to adorn the bench of this great institution at a comparatively young, very young age. Over a period of 12 years, that his lordships remained on the bench of this war. He earned a distinct reputation for his judicial statesmanship and strong commitment for the cause of justice. The Sushmishra has ensured that by his ethical, moral, and principled stand and conduct, this institution continues to enjoy us highest respect amongst the citizens, a jurist and a scholar of high repute. Justice Mishra has excelled with his superior intellect and courage. That is a guidance for all the young lawyers this court. His elevation as a judge to the Supreme Court of India turns a fresh page in the life of an engineer, but marks a new epoch in the history of the institution. Events like this reinforce our faith in the judicial system and renews the strength of judicial ideas. Our great nation is passing through an entire entry into a different, defining phase of its constitutional existence. We look forward to men like Justice Bishra with their vast experience and very rich legacy in the field of law and mature understanding of complex issues will provide solution to vexed questions that are posed before us. Justice Mishra is a voracious reader and a subject of interest are vast and wide. He is also a good sportsman. All characteristics of a good human being are thus imbibed by him. I am reminded of the famous quote that there is no guarantee of justice, but the personality of justice. It is therefore heartening to know that our worthy of the, that a worthy of this illustrious institution will represent our court in the highest court of the country. I on my behalf and on behalf of the government of Uttar Pradesh, as well as its all law officers, extend our very best wishes to honor Mr. Manoj Mishraji on his assumption of the exalted office of the judge of the Supreme Court of India. Jai my best wishes again. <coughs> Honorable <laughs> Chief Justice Sri Rajesh Sundarji, Honorable Justice Sundarji, Mr. 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 Member of Registry, my senior member of the bar, junior member of the bar, ladies and gentlemen. Swami Tulsi Dasi has stated that Nirmal Man Jan Somohi Bhava, Mohi, Nirmal Man Jan Somohi Bhava, Mohi Kapat Chari Chitra Rakhava. Man, is, man of pious heart and soul is a lovely boy of the Lord. 
My Lord Justice Mishra is full of all these characters. Therefore, he has developed himself in a manner in this profession and had attained the highest place in the Indian judiciary to be elevated as a judge of the Supreme Court. So far as myself and the member of the bar is concerned, they have four generations relation with the family of Justice Mishra. When I entered in this profession, almost in the year 1988-89, I met to his grandfather, late Sirius and Mishra, senior advocate, who seems to be a 75-year-old young man with a short height, with a strong voice, he called me, young man, come here. Behind court number 21, this incident occurred, I politely met with him. Then he told, it is not a method of practice in the high court. Appear before senior or before the court with full confidence, without fear and fear. This was, and thereafter, it is well known that Sri S. N. Misra was member of parliament, he was the president of my bar association, and also he was the member of the bar council. Father of late Sri P. N. Misra, who was a senior member of the bar, designated senior member of the bar, was a man of principle with simple living and high thinking. Most lovely person of the young advocates, particularly in the criminal side. I got blessing of late CP and Misraji while meeting in company garden in the evening walk and also almost every day in the morning as our time of entrance from date number three was almost the same. He has discussed with me all the issues of the bar and the bench and has also advised me how to practice in the high court. So far as the Justice Mishra is concerned, we have part practices together here in the Sunny Court as an advocate and, as, and I have privileged to appear before him as a judge also. Justice Mishra was the person who had never afraid of any jurisdiction, either civil or criminal or revenue or tax. Basically, I am practicing in the civil side, mostly in the service and civil miscellaneous of education matter, very contested matter, they are, there are seniors are being engaged. Wherein the contested matter, they are seniors are being engaged, my Lord has never avoided cases, rather entered into the merit and decided the same on its merit and the world. Quality of the judge, just Mr. Uh, Great. Senior advocate Nani Palkiwala, Nani Palkiwala has said a judge should be studious, courteous, conscious, patient, impartial, fearless of public glamour and regardless of praise. Uncle, my Lord has all these qualities. It is a great moment for Ahabar High Court and also for all members of the High Court Bar Association that one of the most intelligent, sincere, calm, cool, and honest judges being elevated to the judge of the Supreme Court. Our bar association had a lot of expectation to the, my Lord Justice Mishra. You are well versed with the situation of the High Court. Therefore, we hope and trust you will take endeavor to sort out these problems so that society in large who are looking towards the judicial system may get relief in their dispute and ultimately it will be help in the progress of the country. My Lord, I myself and also on behalf of the member of the Bar Association pay you 40 scholars on being elevated as a judge of the Supreme Court with the hope and trust that this High Court and the particularly my member of the bar will get the same love and affections as they are getting today. While departing from the task, I remitted the message left for all of us by late Iqbal Khudi ko kar bulan itna Khudi ko kar bulan itna ki har kar deep ke pehle 
खुदा बंदे से यह पूछे बता दे रही है थैंक यू जस्टिस मनोज मिश्रा साहब एंड अदर ऑल जजेस ऑफ दिस कोर्ट और मेरे बार के सभी मेंबर्स आज बड़े ही सुखद घड़ी है कि हमारी बार के सदस्य रहे और हमारे उच्च न्यायालय के न्यायमूर्ति रहे माननीय मनोज मिश्रा साहब उच्चतम न्यायालय के न्यायाधीश के रूप में शपथ लेने जा रहे हैं इस बार के लिए भी ये गर्व का विषय है और बेंच के लिए भी सम्मान का विषय आपके निर्णय हम लोगों के लिए न्याय पथ पर हमेशा प्रकाश देते रहेंगे और हम ये आशा रखते हैं कि उच्चतम न्यायालय में भी बैठकर आप न्याय पथ को प्रकाशित करते रहे बस एक निवेदन के साथ मैं अपनी बात समाप्त करता हूं कभी तो अलविदा ना कहना आप जा जरूर रहे हैं लेकिन यहां हमेशा रहेंगे और हैं और आएंगे धन्यवाद माई लॉर्ड जस्टिस राजेश मित्तल चीफ जस्टिस हाईकोर्ट माई ब्रदर एंड सिस्टर जजेस ऑन डायस एस पी सिंह एडिशनल सॉलिसिटर जनरल ऑफ इंडिया अजय कुमार मिश्रा एडवोकेट जन स्टेट ऑफ यू श्री राधाकांत ओझा प्रेसिडेंट हाई कोर्ट बार एसोसिएशन पीएसपीएस राठौर वाइस प्रेसिडेंट एडवोकेट्स एसोसिएशन सीनियर एडवोकेट्स मेंबर्स ऑफ द बार लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई मस्ट थैंक यू ऑल फॉर कमिंग ऑन अ वीकेंड वेयर सैटरडे इज वेरी प्रेशियस पीपल लाइक टू wake up late and this is quite an early efforts thank you for that it has been quite a surprise for me that i have been chosen for elevation directly to the supreme court but the life had been like this for me from preparatory school i took admission to second class and when i was admitted in class 9 the principal of my college gave us option to appear directly for class 10 examination and we did it and passed it so this jump directly from high court to the supreme court may have been ordained that way and destiny had it in store of which we were not aware as a student i was not very good to begin with but when the classes progressed i noticed my result in class 10 was ordinary and the teacher who were taking the classes were addressing only the front benches i had a seat at the back that pinched me that ensured that i should work hard dedicate myself to the cause and from then onwards by god's grace and everyone's blessings i was faring quite well as a profession in the profession in the legal profession my entry there was not much by choice but probably because of the pressure from the family that everybody was in the legal profession and there was probably nothing there in mind other than profession which i could have taken when i entered the legal profession a choice was given to me whether i should join my father who was at the helm of his practice 
or my grandfather who was declining in his practice. Mr. S. N. Burma, the late senior counsel, was a very close friend of my father. He said that you should take him under your umbrella so that he gets a better coaching because his grandfather may be now declining and may not be able to advise him properly. But then this pinched my grandfather. He was not very happy if I had joined my father. He took me upstairs to his chambers and asked me to stand in front of the deity he used to pray. I had goosebumps in my arms and body. All my hairs were standing erect. He said that this is the office where you should be. And that was the office which was dealing with civil matters in, the, in our office. So I had, by that means, joined my grandfather. That was an advantage of joining a person declining in practice because that gave me opportunity to deal with cases which were big but not attended by senior. Once that was the case, I had the opportunity to deal with very complex matters and that encouraged me to study a lot, which helped me in the long run. <clears throat> of course, I had occasional experience of criminal cases also because that was there in our office. But when I got elevated as a judge of this court, my father was a shade worried that I did not have requisite experience to deal with criminal matters. So he was at his last stages of his life. He dictated all that he knew about the basic principles of criminal law to my son who was then a student of graduation and asked him to pass on those material to me whenever I sat on the criminal side. I had the occasion to sit on the criminal side when he was there, probably in his last stages. But when that material was placed before me, I could realize that it had the wisdom which probably I would not have been able to gather even if I had read tons and tons of books and pages that helped me in my performance on the criminal side. As a judge, what a judge expects from a lawyer is that the lawyer should provide the easiest and the best solution on the basis of which a judgment could be written. The eloquence of a lawyer, the arguments that attract the persons on the gallery are not important. What is important is how he can place the proper solution on the basis of which a judgment can be rendered. Sometimes, because of my eagerness to dispose of cases in a jiffy, I might have been a bit rude, for which I apologize. This had not been as an intention to insult anyone, but only to bring the discourse on the track to ensure that justice is done and expeditiously. Another important aspect which I imbibed sitting with our Chief Justice, current Chief Justice, Justice Chanshu. He used to hear cases, howsoever complex they might be, but dictate judgment in open court, dealing with all the arguments at once before him. I tried my level best to do the same. Of course, I can't match his lordship's competence, but definitely that was an encouragement and I would request all my brother judges to follow that to the extent possible.
this is an occasion where I have mixed feelings. The excitement to go to the highest court is there, but missing you all is also bearing on my mind. This is a place where I have been born, Allahabad. This is a place where I have seen as a child, probably my first entry in this high court was at the age of three. I had seen here that the, there were hardly any cars parked, but now we are sitting, as I am told, under the bridge, probably it's not something which is acceptable and our chief will take care that very soon you have a proper building coming at the back of the high court where everyone would have an adequate space. So that association and long association is certainly bearing on my mind and giving me those mixed feelings. But I can assure you one thing, that I will not ever forget this court. I will never ever forget the cooperation that has been extended by you all. The importance of this court shall be in my heart as always. And I shall also assure you that I will do my best to ensure that the flag of this High Court is always high. At last, I would thank my staff who has served me with full devotion. I would thank my senior personal secretary, Mr. R. K. Singh, who had invited discipline in my chambers, Sri Sunil Kumar Tiwari, who have been taking my dictations even on Sundays, even night hours, odd hours, without any protest. I shall also thank Sri A.K. Shukla, the other third staff, who have been taking my dictation not only in court, but even in my residence and had been serving. I shall also thank my family members, for not giving me a moment of embarrassment even though they have been practicing here. I would not like to name them because they may get embarrassed. Above all, I thank my father for imbibing all the values that I have and my mother for giving me the grit and perseverance that I possess. Above all, I also thank my wife who had been a pillar of strength and right through my lawyer days, I had never to worry about my children because they were well looked after, taught and educated by my wife who have been the real source of strength. Thank you all. My best wishes to you. Thank you.